God bless you beautiful people out there on YouTube and on Facebook. I love you all out there. Blessings to you and your family and hope everyone was okay last night and you didn't get a phone call that was someone was hurt. And if you did, uh, my emphasis go out to you and we're praying for you that everything be better uh, for you as life go on. And it will. And that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. I love you guys out there. Did you go to your twin, which is the mirror in there, and look at yourself and said, you know what? I am a fantastic person. I am a good person. God have took me from ordinary to extraordinary. That's the way God do you, and he wants to do that in your, your life. I want to talk about something today that's very important, and I'm hearing so much of it in the last year about people asking me as a pastor to pray for them. And that's great, and that's what we do. And you watch it all through the Bible, Old Testament and New Testament, where Jesus Christ himself, God himself, people have talked and prayed to God or had people uh, come to Jesus about someone else that maybe could not pray uh, far as physical but due to their illness or their sickness. And you prayed for them and they was healed. And God in this text want you to pray. He wants to hear something from you. And you, it's found in John chapter 15, verse 7 and 8. I'll read that in a moment in your hearing. But I just want to get this out there to let you know if there's something you're going through and you're able to speak out of your mouth, God wants to hear you. He wants to hear his child. He wants to hear his son, his daughter. My God, he wants to hear you, great men and women of God, out of your mouth. God wants to hear you. He wants to hear your voice that he gave you. That's the only voice that's like, like yours. Now, you can have people that uh, mock, mock you or, or, or sound like you, uh, <clears throat> but there's no one have a voice like you. You have your own DA. Oh, you are made just perfect for God. He made you in his own, Im in his own image. Uh, uh, to be just like him. You have no DNA of no one else. Your fingerprints is for you. So you are wonderful made and God took his time to make you. Isn't that good news that I am not like no one else and can't nobody be me but me? My, my, that's good news already. Let me read this in your hearing. Excuse me. Let me read this in your hearing. We're looking at John chapter 15 verses 7 and 8. It said Jesus Jesus told his disciples in John 15, 7 and 8, If you abide in me, if you abide in me, talk to me, love on me, deal with me, and my word abide in you, what he said you worked at, love thy neighbors as thyself. You work in them scriptures. You work in what God said. And, and ask, and you ask, Whatever you wish, mm, mm, mm. he said, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Wow. By this, by this, my father is glorified. Watch this. That you bear much fruit. You're doing something. You're trying to make a difference. This is what he's talking about. And whatever you ask. Well, Pastor, I don't know about this God thing. That if, if there was a God, why did he let my mama get in that accident? Well, th listen, the God, the suffering that we go through losing a, a, a job or losing a husband, losing a wife, losing a child, losing a grandparents, losing a cousin or a niece. When you go through that, you have to understand you got to go deep in your mind that when Jesus Christ died for us, he felt all of this. That's what that means. That's why they don't get tragedy don't get stopped. God have to let us feel what Jesus Christ, his son, went through when he died on the cross for all our sins. That's why he looks at you, not your attitude, not how much money you have, not what kind of car you got, and not what kind of house you live in. God looks at your heart. And you know you're a good person, so try to change to get into what he's talking about. And he said, Jesus told his disciples, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, keeping it in you, keeping the word of God in you, ask for whatever you desire and it will be done. Wow. For you. By this, my father is glorified in how much fruit you bring. 
How who you telling about Jesus Christ? Who you helping? Did you give somebody something to eat? Did you clothe somebody? Did you give somebody a ride in your new car? That God had blessed you, gave some word to somebody, some place to stay. This is what God is talking about. When you abide in Him, like He abide in you, and you got a relationship with Him, you talk to Him. And I know you may not have no <clears throat> fifteen word prayer. It don't have to be. Talk to just like you talking to Pookie and Ray Ray now. God, I love you. I don't know that much about you. I don't even go to church, but I know I'm going through something, and I need your help. That's the prayer, being personal with him. Isn't that good news? We must all pray. And it's good to pray for people, but God wants to hear you pray for yourself and your situation. Isn't that good news? I love you guys out there. Please, I have a YouTube channel. Go to OD Diggins. That's lower caps. Hit the uh, big OD that's in gray and subscribe for me. I have a lot of good stuff on there. A lot of stuff your children can watch. I try to really keep it clean as possible because I never know when babies and stuff is watching or whatever. But at the same time, some of this stuff we have to go down deeper in, in people. And then we have to understand that I have to say some things that may not sound good to the audience. But if God said it, I have to say it. Isn't that good news? I love you all out there. Don't forget to go to my YouTube channel. I'm also on Facebook out there. You can reach me if you need a church home. Don't hesitate. Get in touch with me. It's really easy to do if you're really trying to find me. My God, God can change your life. I'm a witness to it. I love you all out there. Be blessed. And remember, if you see a problem, fix a problem. And I guarantee if you work this John 15, I'll see you on top. I love you all. Be blessed.